Some people want the bigger ones to grill with. Don Drury loves yeah. farming. I get to grow really good food for good people. There you go, 75 cents is your change. He brings those goods from Yale, Oklahoma, 50 miles west to here, the Brookside Farmer's Market. Drury says farming can have its ups and downs depending on mother nature. If the crop isn't as great, subsidies can help farmers out. Farm subsidies are mainly for the uh, monocrops, you know, corn and wheat and things like that. Lisa Brandborg is the market manager for Brookside and Cherry Street Markets and says most of the food you see here isn't eligible for subsidies. Fruits and veggies aren't included, just wheat, corn, soybeans, and sorghum, what are considered commodity crops. So there's a financial disincentive for me to grow healthy food. But that's just one of Don and Lisa's frustrations. The two news investigators obtained the 25-page report done by the Government Accountability Office on the USDA program. The GAO found $22 million in farm subsidies and allowances may have been provided to policyholders two or more years after their death. Which means the government is issuing checks paid by your tax dollars to farmers who have been dead for over two years. Well, it's horrible. I mean, it, there needs to be, you know, much better accounting. You, you don't want money going to farmers who are no longer, you know, with us. Lisa says it's especially frustrating when the deceased are getting something many living farmers are not eligible for. People like Don. Why is broccoli not part of the commodity crop program? Why, why are they not subsidizing arugula production? Why are they not subsidizing watermelon production? We reached out to the USDA wanting to know who was cashing the checks, but the agency never responded to our request. According to the GAO study, these checks are automatically sent each month. However, when a farmer dies, that information does not automatically get entered into the system. The GAO recommends the agency put more oversight and safeguards in place, like matching social security numbers with the death master file. While Don doesn't get subsidies for these veggies, gets the satisfaction of knowing he's providing a healthy meal. And he's good with that. The two news investigators are tracking your tax dollars. If there's something you'd like the investigators to look into, send us an email at investigators at kjrh.com. Marla Carter, Two News works for you.